You're sitting back admiring your tank and you see a little critter swim by that you didn't put in there. You might have said, what are these bugs in my tank? So what are they? Where do they come from? And are they harmful? Coming up. Folks, I'm going to raise my hand here and say guilty as charged. Plenty of times I've looked into my tank and I've gotten confused. I've seen a little critter wiggle or swim by that I didn't put in my tank, such as this little voluptuous vixen, this water flea or Daphnia that I found on a piece of Anubias, or you might have seen these little handsome devils. As I focus in here, they're hard to see. They look like little baby shrimp swimming around. These are actually seed shrimp. Or how about this tasty dish? Crawling up the side of the glass. This is planaria or flatworm. So what you're seeing here, folks, usually are ostracods or copepods. So what exactly are ostracods or copepods? Where do they come from? How do they get into my tank? And are they a risk to any of my tank inhabitants? And to illustrate one way these little critters can get into your tank is this bucket of formerly dry driftwood that I've had soaking for a couple weeks. I'm gonna bleach dip this driftwood. And normally when we bleach dip driftwood, rocks, or plants, we wanna kill off any nasties. But there are sometimes some good critters there as well. The first thing to know about ostracod and copepod eggs is that they can delay hatching and they can survive drying out. So this dry driftwood that was sitting for two weeks in a dry bucket, once it hit the water, Mother Nature called and these little critters decided it was time to hatch. Remember our handsome devils, the seed shrimp? Plenty of those guys in there. Also have mosquito larvae that hatch. Now obviously that's from outside, but if you do have outdoor tanks, greenhouses, or ponds, don't be surprised to see some of those little wigglers in your water. But if you do have driftwood or rocks that maybe you know is clean and you don't boil it, but soak it, and put it in your tank, don't be surprised to see some of these little critters show up a few weeks later. Our handsome devils, the seed shrimp or ostracods, they're actually not shrimp at all, they're small crustaceans. They do a really nice job of cleaning your substrate and in small numbers are actually a sign of good water quality. So give yourself a hand if you see a few of these guys in your tank. The tasty dish crawling up the side of the glass. This is planaria or flatworms. They can be transparent, white, brown, or red. They are nocturnal said to be cross-hide, but if you split these guys, they will regenerate into two worms. Oh, gross. A little gross. Our voluptuous vixen, the water flea, or Daphnia. This is also a small crustacean, and you might be familiar with Daphnia. It's widely used in the hobby to feed fish. Now, water fleas or Daphnia also completely harmless, so take a deep breath, folks. Some other critters you might find in your tank, the Cyclops copepod. Doing his best, Michael Phelps, copepod breaststroke around your tank, also completely harmless. Nematodes, these are white transparent roundworms as opposed to the planaria flatworm. Now they can swim around but mostly live in the substrate. They're harmless, oh, gross. but not so attractive. As mentioned before, if you have outdoor tanks, greenhouses or ponds, you might find mosquito larvae. And one critter to spend a second on is the hydra. Hydra will attach to filters, rocks, plants, and intakes. They'll catch copepods and daphnia, and although they're harmless to adult shrimp or fish, they can be dangerous to fish or shrimp fry. Ooh. Besides surviving the drying out process or delaying hatching, these critters can show up in your tank simply by raising their little thumbs and hitchhiking on plants, rocks, or driftwood. Purchase from your local fish store or through mail order, my voluptuous vixen, the water flea hitchhiked on a piece of Anubias that I had mail ordered. And the important thing to remember about these aquatic inverts, ostracods and copepods, is that they are a natural part of the aquatic environment. Most of the time they are completely harmless with the exception of hydra with fish and shrimp fry. Now while a few of these critters in your tank is a sign of good water quality, take a deep breath because you're doing a good job, an infestation of them generally occurs from overfeeding, too much plant decay, or poor water quality. Best thing about these critters, your fish will love that they're in your tank as they hunt and peck around your aquarium. They will eat these little critters. It will make a nice snack for them. Hopefully that's helpful, folks. That's what these little critters are in your tank. The Den is now on Instagram. Just started posting there. Join me at D Michaels Fish Den. Please like, comment, subscribe for future content. And as always, thanks for watching.